We waste so much fucking time. Every past second is one more second you died. A second you'll never get back. A second that's lost forever. Memento Mori is an ancient practice of reflection on our mortality that goes back to Socrates. You could live life right now, so let that determine what you think and do. I believe this is one of the most important philosophical guidelines to life. I mean, we're all gonna die one day. Have you ever thought this true? Probably not, because otherwise we wouldn't treat time as if we're immortal. We look for countless ways to make time go faster. It almost seems like we're trying to do everything we can to not live up to our full potential. Our life on this planet is finite. For some it might take longer than others, but death is inevitable. Yet this isn't enough for us to live in the moment. The majority of people keep being tormented by the past and worry about the future. Why is it so hard to be present? Why is it so hard to be content with what we have at this very moment? Why do we keep looking for cheap dopamine so time could pass faster? When we're young, we want the freedom, money and achievements of adults. When we're old, we want to experience the pain-free body, the limitless energy, the zero responsibilities and the worry-free mind of children. Isn't this ridiculous when you think about it? The sad thing is that it usually takes a major event in our lives, such as losing a loved one or getting an awful disease, just to realize we gotta start living right now. So then what's the solution? Honestly it's easy to derail. There are multiple interpretations to Memento Mori. It might sound somber and depressing to some, while for others it might be their motivating, guiding compass through life. It just puts living on this earth into perspective, you know. It's easy to derail in this world filled with distractions, cheap dopamine hits and comparison. And that's why I've got three things which remind me of Memento Mori daily. A calendar with 4000 checkboxes that resemble our weeks lived on this planet. 4000 weeks equals 88 years. The goal is to tick off each past week so you can visualize how much time you spend and how much time there is left for you on this planet. Imagine one day having ticked all these boxes. Crazy. All the things you've seen, experienced and learned by them. Imagine surpassing those 88 years. Even crazier. Even though there are more and more people who surpass the age of 100. But that's another topic I'll discuss in another video. This is a beautiful coin I got from Ryan Holiday a man who talks about ancient philosophy on his YouTube channel. An absolute must follow if you care to live a better, more fulfilling life. And this is something I'll never go without, my Memento Mori tattoo. Certain aspects don't matter as much as we think they do. All these material possessions we long for, new clothes, a new watch, the newest iPhone, the new TV, they're really not that important. When you die, someone else will live in the house you worked so hard for. Someone else will be driving your dream car. Even though your children might inherit your material items and you'd be happy to give them a push in life, they won't be yours anymore. And this makes you question both the importance of all these material possessions and the lack of caring about experiences, memories, relationships and fulfillment. The most common regret of people dying is having worked too hard, not spending enough time with their wife, their children, their family and friends, not having followed their dreams. And I think this says a lot about the true important matters in life. Life is a balancing act between living in a moment while keeping the future into account and not do reckless stuff that would jeopardize your well-being in the future. It's also a balancing act between pursuing your passions, having desires and goals, wanting to achieve something in life and taking care of your mind, body and soul. Resting and letting these ambitions take care of themselves. Spending quality time with your loved ones, working out, 
and learning new skills. Because if we become too focused and attached on achieving goals, we will steer further away from them. The law of detachment tells us that focusing on the present moment and the process rather than the end results, individuals can reduce stress, make better decisions and attract positive outcomes more naturally. Attachment creates resistance and limits possibilities. And I can wholeheartedly attest to this. I've put pressure on myself for more than three years to become a full-time YouTuber. And guess what? It still didn't work out. I burned out multiple times, I wasn't fulfilled by my creation, and I didn't feel like creating overall anymore. Over time, I started detaching myself from the result, found fun in the process again, while at the same time gaining more success. I recently had my first YouTube video to reach over 100,000 views, an awesome camera gear sponsor brand, and overall a clearer vision over where I want to head with my channel and my creativity in the future. We should be more grateful, man. I don't know your past and I don't know what you've been through. I truly hope you'll be able to overcome what happened to you. And I also hope all of your basic needs are being met. I want you to ask yourself the question, would you be happy with the life that you've lived if you die tomorrow? If not, I made this little guideline to live a more content and fulfilling life. Stop doom scrolling short form content. Rather watch long form videos that deliver value. But don't overdo it though. Every time I find myself watching short form, I start wanting what other people have. Truly poison to our brain. Deleting Instagram and TikTok to get out of the habit of opening the app all the time really helps. I often do this myself. Don't rush through moments with loved ones. It might be the last time you see them. Don't worry about the future. Focus on the day-to-day -day process which will eventually take care of your future. Don't let the past torment you. You can't change the past. You can use it, however, as fuel and to teach others to do better. Chase your dreams, find your purpose, and find fulfillment in the things you do. Don't be afraid to start something new. You don't want to regret you never tried in your deathbed. Having fun is important. It's as important as working, because it is necessary to recharge our batteries and keep going. And the last one, being able to take care of your family. I think if all of these basic needs are being met in life, then nothing else in life is needed to make us content and fulfilled. Life is hard, man. There will be lots of up and downs, but along with them will come many lessons. So every day you wake up, don't forget to tell yourself, I might die tomorrow. And let that be the guiding principle for you to live a fulfilling day today.